This is Gmail. I mean, you knew that already. Gmail's looked like this for almost a decade. But wait, what's this? New Gmail? Don't freak out, but this is what Gmail looks like now. Google just started rolling out the biggest changes it's made since 2011. They take some figuring out, but I'm here to help. Couple of things you'll notice right off the bat. The whole visual aesthetic here is different. It's more in line with the latest Android designs. It's a lot busier, really, especially if you have a lot of folders and labels, but you get used to it. And all the important stuff hasn't moved. Sidebar to the left, email next to it. Oh yeah, this thing. This right sidebar is probably the most important new feature. You can now see your Google Calendar events, your Google Keep Notes, or your Google Tasks, tasks, right next to your email. I love it. Just being able to see my calendar while I'm suggesting meeting times is hugely helpful. But with so much going on, the first thing you'll want to do is simplify it all a little. You can collapse this left sidebar, which takes up a lot of space, and after that, click on this gear icon and go to Display Density. You can keep it as is or shrink things down so you can see more messages on the screen at once. Once you're good, there are some things you should try. One big one, confidential mode. By clicking this lock down here, you can actually set an email to expire after a certain period of time or give yourself the ability to unsend it anytime you want. Next time you're emailing your credit card information or sending stuff to your tax accountant, this is the mode you want to use. When you're replying to an email, these three bubbles, smart replies, suggest things for you to say. Sometimes they're ridiculous, but they often get it right. Don't want to respond yet? Well, now you can snooze an email. On your phone, which already had a few of these new features, you can now turn on high priority notifications, which means you'll only get buzzed for the stuff that really matters. If you've been using Inbox, Google's other email tool, you've probably seen a lot of this before. The whole idea was to turn Gmail from a messaging app into a place where all your work happens, kind of like Microsoft's Outlook. There's still a lot of stuff missing, though. Hangouts are still awkwardly integrated in the new design, and tasks just aren't that good yet. And if you have two Google accounts, it's still two of everything. It took me a few days to adjust, but I really like this new Gmail. If you don't, though, that's cool. Just go up to that gear icon again and click Go Back to Classic Gmail. Just like that, it's back to 2011. Those were the days.